All right, so it's a sunny day, and we're out with the eight-wheel drive and the six-wheel drive. Now, this is gonna be a slightly different video. I haven't recorded long-form footage, aside from Truck Joe for Joe, in about uh, three months. What you've been seeing every day has been stuff that I've filmed and not edited or re-edited stuff or things I thought I'd never release. I am dog-tired. I've had so much stuff to do, and I haven't slept the last 48 hours as well, thanks to my apprentice. So we are going to go and try and do something today. I've had a few hours sleep. I've had a bit to eat. I'm going to go over and do the safety stuff today. And we're going to pump up a tire on here. We have yet another flat tire. So uh, we'll work on all of that. Anyway, we'll see how this turns into a video. All right. Now these tires are usually between 3 and 5 PSI, sometimes a little higher. This one is definitely lower. I can push it in quite a lot. These ones not. Someone's lost a bit of air. And there is a bit of a wrinkle along the bead here. I might have come off the bead at some point. That's probably because I wrinkled the rim. In any case, we'll put some air in it, we'll see what happens. We also need a bit of fuel. Not that we're gonna to go too far today, but we may, if it uh, ends up getting stuck, something like that. We'll top it up anyway. It was also, uh, wind had been blowing under the tarp and there was a lot of water in. So when we backed it off the uh, trailer the other day, Lots of water came out the bung plug, so we're going to oil the chains. Okay, so fun fact you probably didn't think of when you're looking at all this. The lowest that this will register is about probably 5 psi or about 10 psi. That's about as low as it will register. I have a special low psi meter for doing the tyres on this. And it starts at 0 and the first notch is at 5. And it goes up to 20. This is absolutely necessary for doing these tyres. Another little tip, if you're trying to deflate your tyres, this one has a deflation button on the bottom. It makes it a lot easier. All right, this one's at six PSI, that one's at five, that one's at six, that one's at five. Being slightly higher means the middle tyres allow it to skid steer and swivel a bit better because this is a skid steer thing. Anyway, that'll help out turning a little bit. So normally what lives in the back of the Land Rover is a little Land Rover shovel off a Series 2A. I'm going to take the Cyclone 1 off the bonnet of the six-wheeler today because that might be handy, especially if we get stuck. So this video is starting to give you a bit of an idea of what I go through every time I do a long-form video. I'm checking the oil levels. They're both within spec. A funny little fact here. If you do that, this thing won't start. It requires vacuum um, through the manifold to pull the fuel up because it doesn't have a fuel pump. So yeah, if you... Leave the dipstick out, the thing won't start, or it'll run like crap. These dipsticks are for the auto trans here, or for the transmission rather. They have had a recall for um, popping out and leaking, which creates a horrible mess, and it also puts trans oil all over your brake discs, which means you can't steer. Not great. Put extra fuses here, the winch is in. I should check that I've got a winch remote under the seat, although I can bridge that with a screwdriver if I'm desperate. Um, we have auxiliary battery, I've put the compressor in, we've got extra water, we've got a ration pack. My um, sat track is in here as well, it's active. Um, we should be pretty good, I'm going to take the spot trace with us, or the uh, spot gen 3 rather. We have our auxiliary GPS and we have our fish finder. We're pretty good, I think. Oh, and we have first aid kit, and toilet seat and toilet bags and shovel. We should be good. Now, one thing I really don't stress in my videos, we're here to leave no trace. The idea is to leave the place better than when we get there. Hence why we take out any rubbish we can see, including the rubbish that we generate ourselves on the way. So, let's get this thing sorted. All right, well, that's the end of the video. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna make of this in the editing stage, so you will have already seen it by now. But either way, I hope it was an interesting episode. I don't really have a way to recap the video. I'm not even sure if it's going to go public. We'll find out one day. Anyway, hope you had fun.